can't sleep. Can I make you anything? Warm milk? A hot toddy? Yes, I love the view from this window, too. The ocean lights. It's a natural phenomena. Would you like to go for a walk on the beach? It's quite beautiful at night. Why wouldn't it be safe? You've been uneasy since sunset. There are no watercraft within miles of the island. It's safe enough. Tannis has never tried an air raid. It's up to you, though. I want you comfortable. All right. Let me grab a blanket in case we decide to sit on the beach for a bit. I've always found it relaxing. Thank you. I've called it home for a while now. I like it. Are you feeling better? Has that bump on your head gone down at all? Good. I'm glad. Let me open the gate. Because of the expensive equipment housed in the laboratory, I have an extensive security system. You'll need my help to get through the gate. But don't let that stop you, though. You're free to move about the island. And if you decide you'd like to leave, I'll call in a ship or an airplane, whichever is your preference. I know you said you'd like to stay, and you're welcome to. I just don't want you to feel like you're a prisoner because of my security needs. In truth, I'm glad you're here. I like the company. That's all right. I like that you're willing to speak your mind. Yes, I am attracted to you. But until we know more about your past, I don't feel that it's right to act on it. What if you have a mate somewhere and they're worried sick about you? I would feel horrible if I acted inappropriately. Are you still having flashbacks? Hmm. I had a thought, but it would be a risk on your part. I wouldn't want you to agree without fully considering the ramifications. Hypnosis. I know you didn't want me to bring anyone to the island, so I spoke to a college professor of mine. He cautioned against attempting it without an experienced hypnotist present, but he also explained the process. The most important aspect of hypnotism is the willingness of the subject. I appreciate your trust, but please take some time and think about it. What kind of danger do you feel like you're in? And why does it make me angry that you don't feel safe on my island? You don't know. It could be a residue from the trauma washing up on the island. You have to know, eh? I understand. Mysteries of any kind intrigue me, and if it was something as personal as my history, I couldn't let a chance go by either. Shall we enjoy this spot? Isn't it? I've always found the water lapping at the beach to be soothing. Here, lay on your side 
you can use my leg as a pillow. Comfortable? Good. Do you see the reflection of the moon on the water? Sometimes I'll sit here for hours and watch it sink behind the horizon, or when I let my mind take a flight of fancy, it sinks into the ocean, much like my homeland Atlantis. I know the cycles of the moon are key to discovering its hiding place. I'm so close, and yet it still eludes me. You want me to hypnotize you here and now? I think you should take a few days and think about it. You feel like every second counts. Would someone working for Tannis allow themselves to be hypnotized? It seems very unlikely. All right, you can either watch the tide or close your eyes, whichever you're more comfortable with. Just relax and listen to my voice. That's perfect. Push everything away except the sound of my voice. Each time I touch your shoulder, you're going to go a little deeper into a relaxed state. Hmm, chef's breathing is slow and deep. That's what I'm supposed to look for. All right, here we go. You're doing very well. That's perfect. Each time I touch your shoulder, you're going to go a little deeper. There we are. You're a youngster in primary school. Can you tell me your name? Azure. Hmm, that's unique. I would have never guessed that and yet I can almost see it fitting. Azure, can you tell me where you are? At Tanya. Hmm, that sounds familiar, but I can't place it. And where is that? What? It can't be. Ooh, stay calm. I was cautioned against startling anyone under hypnosis. The northern slope of Atlantis. What are you doing? You're sitting on the beach, watching a ship sail away. Are you happy? Why not? Your baby brother and I are on the ship. Me? How can that possibly be? Tannis and I are the last two Atlanteans alive. Why is your baby brother on the ship? Are we going on holiday? It's all right, Asha. You're just retelling events. You're not in the moment. It's been a long time and emotions have faded. That's better. The ground keeps shaking and your parents are worried. Hmm. Earthquakes? Why aren't you on the ship too? Only one child from each family. Mm, that's interesting. I wish I could remember. Could I have known Asher? Could we have been best friends? What happened on that boat? If they sent one child from each family to safety, why are only Tannis and I still alive? It takes fire 
or beheading to kill an Atlantean. It's understandable why everyone on the island perished from the lava flows. But what about the others on the ship? It's all right, Asher. Relax. They're getting upset. These memories are too horrific. I'm going to touch your shoulder, and you're going to move forward in time. There you are. Much better. You're smiling. Good. What's your name? Haven. Oh, that's nice. What town do you live in, Haven? Hampton on the Sea. Another town that was claimed by the ocean. That's interesting. The timelines don't add up, though. This, too, it must be a previous life. I'm going to touch your shoulder, and you're going to move forward in time again. There you are. What year is it? That's good. What's your name? Eden. <laughs> that fits you. Do you know your last name? Mariner. Ah, so, a seafarer. That's interesting. Where are you? Oh, and what are you doing in Paris? Ah, cooking school. I see. That matches your interests in the kitchen. I'm going to touch your shoulder, and you're going to move forward in time again. Shh. What's wrong, Eden? The constable? What's happened? Your parents were murdered. How? A home invasion. Eden, I'm going to touch your shoulder and you're going to move forward in time again. Now what year is it? The same year? Hmm. That wasn't much of a jump. I wonder why we've stopped here. You're upset. What's happened now? How did your family's restaurant catch fire? Was it an accident? It was suspicious. What do you mean they've taken everything? The killer stole pictures and family mementos. Oh, those tears trickling down your cheeks are breaking my heart. Let's move forward in time again, Eden. Forward to a happier time. That's better. What year is it? So a year later. What's happening now? Oh, you've opened a restaurant in honor of your father. How is it going? Hard work, but growing, I see. So, how did you end up on my beach? Do you know a man named Tannis? He's a bad man. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. How did you meet him? Your father had a triangular coin that had been passed down through the generations, I see. It was supposed to be passed down to you, but the killer stole it. That sounds like the coin you arrived with. If it was stolen, how did you get it back? 
you were searching antique stores trying to find another one. What does this have to do with Tannis? You showed a sketch of the coin to a college professor in hopes of finding out more about it so you could search more effectively. That makes sense. He couldn't help you, but he'd do some research. Did he find one for you? He went missing a few months later. Did you ever find the coin? You were buying bags of coins and antique tokens that came up for auction. And one of those contained the rare triangular coin, just like the one your dad carried. And when you reached out to the professor to show him the coin, you found out he was missing. And shortly after that, Tannis contacted you. What did he want? You don't remember. Mm. Do you work for him? Eden, why are you whispering? You're afraid of him. I knew you were smart. Why? He hurt you. How? What did he do? He killed your family. Why in hell would he do that? Do you think he was after the coin? Among other things, eh? Since you had it in your possession when you arrived here, you didn't give it to him. He hit you. And he tried to make you tell him where it was. Well, that explains the bumps and bruises. How did you get away? You set fire to the building and made your escape. How did you get to this island? You were on a ferry and you saw one of his men aboard. You got scared and jumped overboard. Well, that explains why no one is searching. Ferries are so crowded, they wouldn't even miss a single passenger. But the closest is miles and miles away. You're lucky to be alive. Eden, you're safe. There's no need to be afraid. When I touch your shoulder, you're going to be back in the present. You'll feel relaxed and comfortable. There. Eden? <laughs> yes, you told me your name. Do you remember anything else you've told me? No? Well, that's all right. I think you gave me enough to jog your memory. <laughs>